Hello and welcome to Empowered Learning. This video will be about an example of taking a function and constructing and simplifying the difference quotient for that function. So if you are unfamiliar with what the difference quotient is, um, it is just a fancy way of expressing the slope of a line. Um, and if you want more information about that, um, I do have other videos um, that are titled um, doing difference quotients that you can look up and check that out. So here is just an example of trying to calculate that for this rational function. So when we want to take this particular difference quotient here and we want to apply this function to it, we do exactly as it says. So what that means for us is that we first need to figure out what f of x plus h is and then subtract that from what f of x is and then divide all that by h. So I'm going to do that now. So let's see, we got to get this writing here. All right, so this will be f of x plus h minus f of x, all of that divided by h. And since f of x is just 1 divided by 22x, then f of x plus h means everywhere where we see x, we replace it with x plus h. So that looks like 1 divided by 22 times x plus h, all in parentheses. Okay, and then from there, minus um, f of x, we already know what that is. That's just 1 divided by 22x. And we take all of that and we divide it by h. So now from here, um, we have several different ways we could simplify this rational expression uh, to, to get our end result. Um, I'm going to go the easiest route, which is I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the LCD of both of these fractions here. And so this is a strategy that we use um, in Algebra 2. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and you'll see how by multiplying the numerator and denominator of this rational expression by the LCD of these two fractions here, or these two rational expressions, um, we'll get rid of the fraction part that is in the numerator. All right, so the least common denominator in between 22 times x plus h and 22x is 22x times x plus h. So I'm going to multiply the numerator, 22x times uh, x plus h, and do the same thing in the denominator. Now, effectively what I've done is I've taken this expression here and I've multiplied it by 1, but I've made 1 look like 22x times x plus h over itself. All right, so now from here, what we need to do is we need to multiply the numerator and uh, denominator of both of these rational expressions. So what that means is I'm going to distribute 22x times x plus h uh, to both terms in the numerator here, and then just multiply everything in the denominator there. So coming here, um, I'm going to write this out the long way so we see how everything uh, reduces at the end. So what we need to do here now is distribute uh, the 22x times x plus h times 1 over 22, um, 1 over 22 times x plus h, and that gives us 22x times x plus h all over 22 times x plus h minus, and now we do the same thing with the second terms, 22x times x plus h, all that over 22x. And then of course, all of that will be divided by 22x times x plus h times h. And so now from here, notice that these 22s reduce to 1, and the x plus h factors reduce to 1. 
So that reduces to one here, that reduces to one there, and all we have left is x in the first term. In the second term, the 22x in the numerator and denominator both reduce to one, and all we have left is a minus x plus h. And then of course, in our denominator here, we have 22x h, I'm just gonna move the h over here, and then all that is being multiplied by x plus h, okay? Now, at this point, please do not make the mistake of trying to reduce this x plus h and that x plus h to one. We can't do that because you have a subtraction sign here. If this was x times x plus h, and then you had all this here, then you would be able to do this. But since you have a subtraction sign here, you can't do that. So um, what we're going to have to do is just work out what the numerator will be. And then after that, then uh, we could finish this up. So let me go ahead and erase this and continue on. So now we need to distribute the understood negative one here, and that will be an x minus x minus h, because this is like the understood negative one being multiplied by both of these positive terms, which will just change the sign of both of these terms. And then this is 22xh times x plus h. So now from here, if we finish up, we see that x minus h just cancels to zero. And so zero minus h is just a negative h. And then we got 22x times h times x plus h. And so here again, we have a situation where we have multiplication here, multiplication here. And so now we can take these h's and reduce them to one, and what we have left is a negative one over 22x times x plus h. So now uh, we have this in the uh, most simple form that uh, we could get it in. Um, of course, we can multiply the 22x uh, times the x plus h factor in the denominator, but that won't help us any. So according to what this answer should be, this is the expression that we need for the difference quotient. So um, I'm going to go one step further here and actually show you how this is used. So what we've essentially done is we've looked at a function that, that uh, looks like a rational function, and we've given a, um, a description algebraically of what the slope of the secant line of any uh, two points that are on this given function would look like. And that is depending upon what value of x we're at, as well as the difference in between those two um, points. And so I'll kind of draw you a, a quick graph of this so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So 1 over 22x will look something like this in general. So in general, it will look something like this. And so um, what we're trying to say here is that, let's say if I pick any two random points here. All right, so let's say, you know, I pick, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna make these two dots right here and then move them. Uh, let me erase that. All right, so let's say we have this point here and let's move this point and let's say we have it here, okay? So this is gonna be some value of X here and this is going to be a value X plus H where the distance in between these two points here is H. Now the corresponding um, line that we have here 
is going to be aligned with a negative slope. And this is called a secant line. If we wanted to know how fast um, this particular function is, let's say, decreasing at this point, exactly at that point, one way we could do it is we can get an estimate by saying, all right, well, we know where we are here. Let's measure when we're plus h units out from this point horizontally and then figure out the slope of this line. And so that's essentially what this represents. Now, if we wanted to get a more accurate assessment of how fast is this function decreasing at exactly this point here, what we would have to do is move this value in closer. Okay, So instead of having a point right here, what you would need to do is have that point closer in, and let's say um, it would be at about right here. Okay. And so in doing that, of course, the slope of the line that I get would be more negative. And so ideally speaking, if we could take the distance in between this point and this point and actually make it zero, then we would figure out um, ideally how fast am I decreasing exactly at this particular moment here, or at exactly at this x value. And of course, if we did that, then what we would do here is just plug in zero for h, and what you end up getting is um, negative 1 divided by 22x squared as an answer. And um, what this essentially ends up being is what's called the derivative or the instantaneous rate of change of this function. And so for those of you that are in pre-cal um, watching this video and you want to and you're looking toward going to uh, cal 1, you're going to see this. And so this is the actual definition of a derivative um, at work here, okay? Uh, for those of you that are um, taking, let's say, college algebra or um, algebra 2 and you're watching this video, this is the reason why you learn how to evaluate difference quotients because all that stuff is preparing you for calculus later where you'll actually use this skill to be able to figure out what the derivative of function is, which is measuring instantaneous rate of change. And so, um, of course, you'll have more simple ways to do these simple functions and as far as finding a derivative, but everything starts out with this theoretical concept here. And um, as the functions get more difficult, you'll find that you won't have nice, easy ways or easy tables to figure out this instantaneous rate of change function, and you'll have to revert back to uh, the theoretical version of it, which is taking the difference quotient and uh, simplifying it and then evaluating the difference quotient at h equals zero to figure out what that formula would be. So that's why we actually use this. So um, again, uh, this is a problem of trying to calculate or uh, construct the difference quotient and then simplify uh, the answer. And uh, of course, I've also given you an application of why and how we use that. And I hope this helps. Take care.